the young Chris here from Production Coaching Civil Earthworks. And today I wanted to just share um, some, uh, just a small tips and just uh, things to keep in mind when um, watering a fill area and just things that sometimes you don't always have, um, you don't always think of when you're actually operating a water cart because um, you're not too sure of the actual ramifications of what you do to uh, the end result of say a fill area if you're trying to get it tested and it has to be at um, a right compaction and a right moisture kind of area so and this is mainly if you've only ever really operated water carts or, or, or just trucks and you haven't particularly operated um, say compactors and stuff such like that to have a really good understanding of what the ground is ideally meant to be looking like versus um, say your opinion so within this, let's say we're watering fill area, one thing we do need to keep in mind um, straight up is that every single, all the different um, types of material is different and some can take, take a lot of water, some take very little and you destroy the area. So, but one thing to keep in mind, let's just say, on this little example here, just say we've got a, a top view looking down, we've got a, a pushing machine, just say a dozer or something, he's, he's tracked out of the way so you can come in and do your, do your watering. So, Let's say you've come in and you've got to do the entire pad and the operator's asked you for uh, just to run over everything properly. So just say you're spraying, I don't know how, let's do it this way. you're spraying and your sprays are reaching this far. You water all the way up and just say you're turning around and you're coming back. One thing, Obviously, like I said, all material is different. Some is more forgiving than others, and some is very crucial to get it right. But something very much to keep in mind is say, you've done that first path, pass, I should say, and you've watered that much of the fill. Now, when you come back, hypothetically, and you're doing your other pass again, you're wanting that fast spray, or ideally, if you, if you can, try to get that fast spray to kind of match up with here. So you're kind of watering there which keeps it even, so you do one pass, everything's had one pass. But for an example, on say, if you're working with material that isn't as forgiving, and you as a water cart operator um, don't take this into consider consideration, just say you come a bit closer here and you're watering again, I'm hopefully I'm not making this too messy for you, but, and you're watering again, but your spray's around right here now. Now, essentially, this section in here has now had two runs of water because it's got to run that way and it's got to run this way. It's very simple. I'm not trying to dump, dump it down for you in any way. But sometimes when you're working in a, as a water cart operator, you don't always take that under consideration. And if you do that two or three times on a fill area, you can actually impact the end result. And that's what, we get, that's what I'm trying to um, share with you guys because this is a life lesson that I've had to learn along, along the ways of um, operating water carts as well and things that I've done wrong and it's impacted. So if you get too many sections like this hypothetically, you can get um, areas that they, they start calling it heaving and stuff like that. So the more you work it, the more it kind of brings the moisture up and it becomes mud and it's actually not ideal for when you're trying to get a nice hard compaction sur surface. So. This is the main one that I wanted to share in this example as just say a water cart operator. Some of the responsibilities that you have and just how um, important it can be at times. So when operating, it's good to keep that in mind because if you can minimise overwatering an area, because it's always easier to come back and water again, it's a lot harder to take the water out once you put it in there. And a lot of cases, if you make a meal of it like this, um, Sometimes you just gotta walk away from what you're doing and let it bake out with the, with the sun and then essentially you're not being productive and you're not actually creating anything. So as a water cart operator, that's just one thing I wanted to share. And um, um, yeah, just um, get you to possibly think about it if, you, if you're just coming into water carts and, um, and you wanted to just watch this and see if there's any um, bits and pieces that might help. I believe that one there is a good help that can uh, help you in the event of uh, not overwatering. I say this 
also in bulk civil earthworks. Um, I, I myself haven't really worked on the roads, but when it comes to watering, it's, I believe it's a lot more crucial and it's a lot more um, important to make sure that you're wetting uh, everything evenly. So I'll just leave you with that. Um, and just about uh, try not to overlap your sprays on big fill areas. Um, and obviously it's better to come back again, hit it again instead of overwatering. So hopefully this has been beneficial and uh, thanks for watching mate.